Okay, people, we move on. Men's and women's tag action. And, uh, of course, this follows on once again from the events that occurred on hits. I mean, on hits, on melee, excuse me. Hits is coming up. Yep. Of course, the ongoing issues between Jack and Dark Forge. But in this one, Dark Forge is sending his two minions, if you can call them that. Matthew Harworth and the official debut for Araya Blaze as they're going to take on Jack Stanbridge and the women's champion Alyssa of course even though Alyssa and uh, Jack are girlfriend and boyfriend this is actually the first time they've teamed up with each other oh shit yeah it is of course, as of late, the only things that Jack has been had to deal with was the Arbiter. And of course, now the two of them have their issues are in the past. And surprisingly, the two of them, they've been talking very civilly to each other now. There's no longer a feeling of... Something's got there's to a, there's give, a few, and you know well, this. Well, but no, they've been talking to each other very civilly. I mean, they've been talking to each other like... Not so much friends, but just as... Neutral comrades, in a way. I mean, the two of them have... I mean, Arbiter has put it in the past. I know Jack has wanted to put it in the past for a while. And really, a lot of it has been thanks to this girl. That's Alyssa! Of course, a lot of polls recently have suggested that Alyssa, as of Golden Ambitions, has become the most popular of the female division. Overtake, of course, overtaking the individual that held that post since um, Hyperlink, or just be, or just before Hyperlink. That, of course, being Samus. Yes. Well, I what do you expect? She is the women's champion. But not just well, not just that, but just because of the work she's done, helping the Arbiter out, she's kind of being heralded as a um, as kind of a hero in a very unusual way. You can't can't say no to that one. Um, here's what you can say about this one. That's Matthew Herworth. Dark personality that's come out of him. The dark personality came out of him like... You remember shortly after Captain Falcon was released, him and... Captain Falcon and Matthew Herworth, they were the star pilots. Yeah. Shortly after that, Matthew took a dark turn. And started following side, Dark Forge. This is a side of Matthew Herworth I haven't seen in a long time. I mean, there have been sides to Matthew Herworth that have been straight up wrestling. There's a side of him that's pretty fun. But this is the darker side. Here comes Araya Blaze. This will be her official debut following the um, and she's attack much, she made. Well, she's pretty much become the most hated. Within the sp well, within the space of her appearing here, she's definitely become one of the most... She definitely grabbed a lot of attention in the female division. But unfortunately, I, I had to these say, two have got their work cut out for them. I know full, we know full well, but Alyssa will want to get her hands on Araya for the attack. And Jack is going to want to get his hands on Matthew just for being associated with Dark Support. Of course, to, to bring up... With a right Raya during a women's title match on melee between Alyssa and Samus. Araya would show her face for the first time and cause the match to be I would, ended prematurely. Know, I, would say, I would say this matchup right here would normally go to Jack Stanbridge, but Matthew Howarth is far more experienced than Jack Stanbridge. That's a fact that you have he to did, consider. He did come in. Of course, you remember Matthew Howarth. He was originally part of the... First season, I believe, of the YTA. Yeah. Season that was won by Johnny Blaze. Who is dead. Yeah. And Oh, close like that. And there. I got a little bit of help to try and revive him, but it's physically impossible because we don't have thanks to Lucario, we don't have any Hey, don't go after Lucario now. I know. Okay. Okay. 
Also, people, I should just report on this, but recently Lucario was at a... Look at this right now, a double team! But the problem is... done all, but a riot now gets in! The problem is, I can't really blame Lucario. Well, that... That's the thing, I should just report on this right now, but recently the Brotherhood, along with, um... Well, most members of the Brotherhood, along with Rak Qatar, were actually at a, um... An autograph signing in a, um... In a mall. And there was actually quite a crowd to actually see him. Yeah, that was kind of a surprise. That was pretty. It was nice. To, it was, I knew it was, but it, was nice, it was nice to see. I knew the it was... level. Of, it was nice to see, but the best thing about it was the level of support that the, the Brotherhood is, have gained since. The annoying thing is Lucario can never compete again. That's the annoying yeah, thing. Yeah, that's all thing about it. You see Matthew taking up. Um, Check off the apron and now Raya tagged in. I think there's only one way to save him and I know you're going to hate me saying this. The one way he can compete again is if... But the problem is... Oh, you see that Jack, Jack gets straight you know what, back in. You know what I'm talking about. And I do is, have a feeling that I... I don't, I don't... Last time, well, I don't even think that would work either, to be honest. The problem is the last time that happened, he went into a psychotic yeah. slim machine. Yeah, yes. That's the whole point, and I don't even think that would work. I think... Oh, I'm actually done there by Raya! I'm gonna have to speak to the Brotherhood. I don't think After the Brother... The I don't think the Brotherhood are gonna take any possibilities. If there's a risk that it could further damage Lucario, I don't think they'll take it. I mean, he's damaged enough. No, it's not gonna damage Lucario. The damage is that nice it might turn there. Lucario into a monster again. That's the thing. I don't think the Brotherhood want to take that chance. I don't think they want to take any chances with Lucario. Ooh, I think I have an idea. You see right now, Alyssa certainly I'm... taking it to Araya, but... You need to keep your focus on this matchup right now. Yeah. The reason why I brought that up... And Matthew now tagged in, and... Well, it's men's and women's, it's not mixed rules, so... Technically, Matthew can do this! Oh, and an axe handle there! And now, look at Jack! Jack's getting in there! The funny thing is, you know what title Matthew Horrof is winning? Missing. What's that? The world, world title. title. He's That's a shocking a thing! World title. He needs to win the world title to achieve a Grand Slam. Yeah. Everyone Blaziken has to win the world title to achieve a Grand Slam. Tails has to win the world title to achieve a Grand Slam. I think. Yes. Powerbomb there to Alyssa. Yes. And with Jack taken out. Now Jack's back up now. You know what the surprise is? And a little. Oh! Same with Sonic. An attack made. No, Sonic's already held the world title. Yeah, so he needs. International. He needs to win the tag gold. Is I think. Won? No, didn't he win the tag gold? Not that I know of. No, he's already a Grand Slam champion. He won the tag gold with Tails. No, he never won it with Tails, I don't think. Yeah, he won it with Tails. Did he? Yeah. Oh! Oh, he missed it! Someone's need to, gonna need to update the wiki page because Sonic is a Grand Slam. I, I'm trying to remember now. Is he he mind on this match! Stop taking my mind off of it! <laughs> Another tag made to the listener now comes back in! A splash right out of Matthew! Two. And Araya gets in to break it. Of course, Araya Blaze brought in by Dark Forge. And, of course, Dark Forge, he has not given up on his mission to to bring Arbiter to his side, to have Arbiter embrace the anger. And he's brought Araya in to keep Alyssa, to keep Alyssa away. The only thing I can hope for right now is that Arbiter does not ever now let his emotions get the better of him because the problem is if we see elbow the drop there by Araya if it ha ever happens and heaven forbid if it does I think everyone's gonna be in trouble well everyone was in trouble first time round I mean he couldn't even control himself really the only individual as Jack gets in there to break that one up the only individual that could control Arbiter was Alyssa and look what happened to Alyssa she ended up in in hospital because of it well, she, she didn't end up in hospital because of Arbiter. But because she ended up in hospital because of her connection to Ar Arbiter and because of Dark Forge. Yep. So you can't you can't blame that on Arbiter. I can't blame Arbiter on that one. I can blame well, you Dark just, Forge. You just did. 
technically... Actually, wait! Oh! There's another reason, because it also almost tore apart Jack Stanbridge and Alyssa. That's, yeah. You can blame that on the Arbiter, but it's also Jack Stanbridge's fault. Well, as Jack well. is admit. I mean, Arbiter is admit. Oh! That was effective. A liar there! That was effective. Wow. Try a cover now! And Jack there! Knocks over the rest! Oh, Although Jack did come out and say. And so did the Arbiter, so. They both apologised yeah. for their part in that. So, that one's pretty much sorted. There's only one issue we never got sorted. That's the one between Dark. That's the one with Dark Forge. Yeah. Actually, there's another issue we never got sorted. What? We'll leave that issue till when Dark Forge comes out. Well. Well, anyway, you see right now, Alyssa yeah, suddenly. Oh! A roll up, but the ref distracted! One! Only a one count. Actually, yeah, I will mention it because. Uh oh! Injustice Breaker! Because technically it does involve Jack a little bit. Come up! The world Just title. Just a one count! The thing I was going to bring up was the world title. How is that an issue between Jack and Arbiter now? No! Well, if, will they ever face for the world title? Is the question. Well, we know that they won't at Aftermath. That yeah. will be. Austin Uraz. Yep. Oh, look at this! Oh, Matthew there! And once again, Jack getting in and just gets... Oh, going off to... Going off to Ryan and just... And Ryan just hangs up. And now dragging Jack to the outside. That just leaves Matthew to go after Alyssa. And Matthew... I'm sorry, Jack gets straight back in. And just gets knocked down by a Raya. I think that suplex might have just turned the tables. You see now. Oh, look at this. That suplex from Mariah Bra Blaze. There, yeah, there, yeah. Mariah Blaze. Don't you know, what? Suplex? Don't, he hung Jack up on the ropes. No, the suplex on Alyssa. Oh, yeah. That might have just turned the tables a little bit, but I reckon Jack is. Jack bit. right now. Well, he's back in there. Matthew there with a kick to the stomach. Uh oh. That didn't work. Uh oh. This Here it comes! Work. Oh, but. A riot there making a stop! Now you got the case here with the, both of the girls beating the crap out of both of the guys. Alyssa kicking the crap out of. But there is. A riot going after Alyssa right now, but. But look at Jack there! He's not hesitated to go after Araya! Of course I know, but Jack and Alyssa, they're both very defensive of each other. That's the thing I like about it too, they'll stand by each other no matter what. Oh, oh crap! The modifier! Modifier right there! Cover by Matthew! Oh. And Alyssa making the save. And of course now with Arbiter now off of their backs and as a, a friend now. The two of them can focus on trying to take out Dark Forge without the Arbiter getting in the way. Of course Arbiter now he can turn his focus to his number one contender. Nicely done there by Jack. But he's got to have his eyes peeled at all times now. He's got to. He's going to have to particularly have an eye on the Path of Glory series. Not only that. Oh, chop there by Alyssa. An on, he's got to keep an eye on Ben Hopkins. Of course, Mr. Money in the Bank. That's another fact. And look at this right now, Matthew being pummeled by Alyssa and Jack. Araya gets in there again. But technically, insurance policies normally pay off, don't they? Hmm. With Ben Hopkins. But the world title picture is... Oh crap! Powerbomb! And I'm grabbing Alyssa again! Oh crap! Another powerbomb! To Alyssa! Oh my word! Alyssa now trying to... Oh crap! Alyssa being picked up! Kyle kick there by Jack! To the back of the head as well. 
Saves a lesser on that one, and here we go! And Matthew gets back up from it! An attack made down to Araya! And Araya blaze now! Oh my! Lands that one and cover! Oh my god, don't tell me! Jack kicking out! All right now, oh, Ryan and Matthew. Uh oh, I was just about, I was just about to bring this up. If Ryan and Matthew keep Jack isolated, but Alyssa's now in there. You were saying if Ryan plays with a pin, Jack. That would be the biggest upset in CXWA history. I know, I've seen bigger. Oh look out! Tilt a wall. That puts Ryan down. Oh, but doesn't hit the star shooter press. And Araya, that's it. Landed on her head as well, right. Oh, she's, wait a minute now. Oh, no, again. And Araya plays. Now turns her attention to Jack. I'll go for it on Jack here, but... Jack now just... Looking to try and buy Alyssa some time! But again! Uh-oh! Got her up! Sugar roll! That certainly ain't sweet! See now! Takes out Matthew! Check this out! The Justice Breaker! And Alyssa now! Starship of Press! Landing it to perfection! Three. That is how you get the win! Matthew, Matthew there, a few seconds too late! And that... Is a 4-4 four break! Yeah, a little bit of one. Don't know why that WWE logo got left in there, but anyway... Dark Forge... He ain't gonna be happy seeing his minions lose that one, but... I'm looking for Section 3. It's a good win for... Boyfriend and girlfriend on that one. With them teaming up for the first time as well. And here's how Alyssa, a star shooter, press to perfection.